Hey there, this is Evan Onstad in downtown Seminole. I'll tell you what, it is um, it is a sight to see after a number of tornadoes moved through the area here behind me. Obviously, we have plenty of damage. Again, we're in downtown where the streets are mostly blocked off here today. It's very quiet. We just have emergency vehicles and some cleanup crews. Check out this pile of just debris, metal, steel twisted around each other just piled up there on the side of the road. They've been working on this all day. And and Mark, I'm, I'm with photojournalist Mark Fricklin right now in downtown Seminole. I mean, it continues all the way down, all the way down the sidewalks, the roofs on pretty much all of these buildings. You've seen the Sky 5 footage, if uh, the pretty good chance, if you've been watching us or watching our, our online content, the roofs are all gone for the most part. And then we have this crane right now, which has been literally tearing what was left of the roof off of this. And they've been very careful not to get tangled up with those power lines. Power is a major issue here in Seminole. And right now you actually have a chance to help. You can text Red Cross to 90999 because it's not just these businesses downtown, it's homes, it is schools. Luckily, it is not lives that have been lost and no serious injuries incredibly but there is still so much damage. The second you move into the town of Seminole, you begin to see it. And it's not just limited to right here in downtown where obviously the cleanup is just going to be massive and it's gonna take a long time. I was earlier, and you're gonna see this during the five o'clock newscast, and I know the governor toured this as well. I was at a charter school, a public charter school here in Seminole that, that it's, it's, it's pretty much destroyed. It's the old armory building, a woman I spoke to, she was in there with her, her husband, her three kids. They were in the old gun vault of the armory in this school, having to hold it shut as the tornado moved through. She said it was terrifying and that it's really, she's got a young child about seven years old. She says it's really gonna uh, bug that son for a long time. She's worried about that. Um, but you can do something about this. Again, let me, let's put this up on the screen. Text Red Cross to 90999 it will automatically take ten dollars out of your phone out of your phone bill and that's going to go straight to the people who need it most the red cross is doing incredible work they're not the only organization out here there's lots of people out here doing incredible work we're going to have more for that i know our andy weber is talking to some of those organizations but um oklahoma is no stranger to tornado damage to natural disasters to um to, to difficulty and we're also no stranger to stepping up and, and, and giving back and helping out. We've done it before and you know what, we're gonna do it again. So please text 90999 to uh, Red, Red Cross to 90999 to donate $10 to the victims who need it. Again, I will see you at five o'clock. We've got lots to come, lots to show you here about all the struggle that's to come, but also just the incredible fact that nobody was seriously hurt or killed.